Uh, I want to thank everybody for showing up. We got a, probably another dozen people or so that are going to be on their way. Um, it's great to see on a Thursday afternoon that we have so much support already. Uh, this is really amazing. Uh, and it just shows us, you know, the strength of the community and people are willing to put forth and actually, you know, have a good time while we're trying to change the marijuana laws. Uh, this stuff does work. This is how Mass Can has made its money uh, since day one. That is holding events that people want to attend, pay money for, make a donation to Mass Can, have fun in the process. So thank you all for coming here. Uh, this, uh, I organized this as president of MassCan. I'm now uh, just a member of the board of directors. Uh, Mike Crawford, uh, the gentleman who's holding the camera, is the new president of MassCan. Um, and uh, I want to congratulate him. So we have a round of applause for Mike. And uh, good, luck. good luck in the endeavors of being president. Um, I would also like to recognize our um, guest of honor, with the gentleman over there with the goatee who's uh, wearing the nice black suit, Rick Cusick from High Times Magazine. Uh, Rick was kind enough to come out to the Boston area for the sake of addressing students in my class and then even kinder to hang out uh, for the afternoon and enjoy some company here. Um, so if you haven't said hi to him already, go ahead and say hi. Uh, and then uh, let's see, other people here of note, there are some MassCam Board of Directors members, Scott Madelon, uh, the gentleman here in the glasses who just uh, was elected for his first term. We have Scott Gasick over here in the hoodie, uh, who's been elected for probably, what, a third or fourth? Second. Second. Oh, wow. Well, he's been working with MassCamp for a long period of time. Uh, and also, I'd like to introduce, uh, despite all the work that we've done for the past year trying to convince Jeffrey Sanchez that we have uh, support for medicinal marijuana, uh, he has chosen to ignore that. Uh, the solution stands in the room. Uh, I'd like to introduce folks to Jeff Herman, who is running against Jeffrey Sanchez in the upcoming election. He is supportive of Sanchez's policy. And more of you should be eating pizza and salad. And we got ice cream, too. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any spoons, so you might have to eat it with forks. Uh, but please indulge, continue indulging. It's delicious. And tip the bartender well. Would you like to say something? Uh, sure. Uh, just, just a second. One more second, folks. We have the candidates say something. I have been a member of the board of directors of MassCan several times. I've given talks several times at the Freedom Rally. And the reason I got there was because I was given a position with the United Nations seat in Costa Rica. We did an investigation of the drug uh, situation in the world, illicit drug trafficking and all, and came to the conclusion that the war against it was futile, a waste of money, time, and harmful. So when I came to Boston after my stint there, I joined MassCan, and I really have been appreciative of all the work that you do, work that you support, and uh, I'll be running, the election is until September, but I'm, anybody that wants a little, my email, just ask me for it during the course of the evening. And, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to win with the support of people like you and others that are out there that know it's time to live life, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness like we were promised. So uh, let's have fun here tonight. Jeffrey Sanchez. That's right. And, uh, 15th, the 15th Suffolk seat. You saw uh, the medical marijuana bill. There was some stories, and Sanchez sent right. the study. What do you right. think about that? Right. Well, that's a long story. Jeff Sanchez is a 
a man that was selected because he was the he was the chauffeur to uh, Thomas Menino had a the Hispanic last name and would do their bidding and that's how he got into office and that's what he's been doing ever since then and and uh, that's not the way things should work we need a, a representative of the district that is more in tune with what the people want and, uh, so you, you said uh, you support legalization too? I'm for <laughs> growing uh, however much you want, uh, I'm for selling it at whatever price you can get, uh, I'm for uh, using it uh, legally of course. Uh, the total uh, freedom of, uh, of the marijuana issue. Thank you. Wait, are you anything else you want to tell us about? Do you have a website coming out or anything? Uh, I don't have a website. I don't know if it's coming out. Uh, I just got back from uh, two months in Costa Rica where you're able to get it pretty easily and smoke it pretty much wherever you want. And, and though technically it's illegal, the police don't seem to enforce it. Uh, nobody's getting hurt. Uh, People enjoy it. I was at the uh, United Nations University of Peace, which is located in Costa Rica, and it seemed like 100% of the delegates from 50 nations around the world were all smoking it. It was incredible. Uh, Portugal has just legalized it. Uh, Switzerland has. The Netherlands, of course, uh, has for a long time. I might mention that I was talking with the ambassador from the Netherlands uh, to Costa Rica while I was there. And I asked him how the marijuana law was working in the Netherlands. He's a dapper man, suit and tie, about my age. Uh, and he said, he said, it's working very well. He says, it, the incidence of people going to hard drugs is lower because marijuana is available. And in the same breath, he said, and so, and, and prostitution is legal and euthanasia is legal too. And, you know. It just seems so natural to him that that's the way things should be, and, and I agree with him. And it's about time that the United States, and specifically Massachusetts, caught up with what's going on uh, in the rest of the world. Why did you decide to run? Because Jeff Sanchez voted against this bill to allow for medicinal marijuana, and it was about the third thing that he's done. Uh, that I think was terribly wrong. Uh, he once confided in me that he thought the people of Massachusetts were stupid. That was the word that he used. Uh, he's not very green. Uh, doesn't want to. Doesn't hasn't proposed any changes in, in the way we should treat the environment. And I'm a radical environmentalist. I mean. I think we're already past the tipping point of survival, survivability on the planet. And all that we can do now is ameliorate the damage. And since that's the most we can do, we can at least be doing that. Uh, so, and, and he, of course, is very lame. I wouldn't even say lame. He's like absent on the issue. So those are all, all those things, I just got tired of putting up with that. Nobody else seemed to want to do it in mass can. Uh, I was talking with Bill Downing, he suggested it, and I said okay, and I've been off ever since. So Bill Downing was a kind of a ringleader on this. Yeah, he was. Uh, I've known Bill for quite a few times, been to a few of his parties, uh, been to many of the meetings that he was at uh, while he was president. Uh, I love the guy, he's great, and uh, when he brought it up, that's what broke the camel's back. Alright, well thanks for uh, coming down, and thanks for your time. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.